Hey guys, Dr. Cummins here. We know that chronic inflammation causes the pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility associated with ankylosing spondylitis. The question is, why does the chronic inflammation attack certain areas of the body with AS? The medical literature describes a process called molecular mimicry. Certain bacteria in the gut produce proteins. These proteins look very similar to collagen in ligaments, tendons, discs of the spine. When these proteins produced by bacteria in the gut come in contact with our gut immune system, the immune system will travel throughout the body and attack these tissues such as the ligaments, tendons, and discs of the spine. The reason for this is because the immune system can't tell the difference between the protein produced by the bacteria and the collagen and the ligaments, tendons, joints, and discs of the spine. And this is the process of molecular mimicry represented here on this diagram. At the top, I have the bacteria Klebsiella. Klebsiella is a bacteria that in the medical literature has been associated with ankylosing spondylitis. It's not the only bacteria associated with AS, but it is one of them. And over here on the left side, we have a protein that is produced by the bacteria Klebsiella. It's the nitrogenase enzyme. Enzymes are also proteins. And this protein produced by the Klebsiella bacteria is represented by an amino acid sequence that's represented by the letters Q, T, D, R, E, D. HLA-B27 is a gene that the majority of individuals with AS have. Not everyone with AS is positive for HLA-B27, but the majority of individuals are. HLA-B27 is a gene that codes for proteins on the surface of cells. These cells are in the ligaments, tendons, joints, and discs of the spine. And you can see here, HLA-B27 is also represented by an amino acid sequence represented by the same letters Q, T, D, R, E, D. So you can see that the protein produced by the Klebsiella bacteria and HLA-B27 both have the exact same amino acid sequence. So when the immune system identifies this protein produced by the bacteria Klebsiella in the gut, it will then go throughout the bloodstream and attack cells and tissues that contain HLA-B27. And again, this can be in the ligaments, tendons, joints, discs of the spine, places where we feel uh, the pain, stiffness, reduced mobility associated with AS. On this side, we have another protein, uh, the pololinase enzyme, that's produced by the bacteria Klebsiella. And it's represented by an amino acid sequence that's represented by the letters GXP. Collagen types 1, 3, and 4 are also represented by an amino acid sequence and the letters GXP. So again, when the immune system identifies this protein produced by the Klebsiella bacteria in the gut, it will go throughout the bloodstream and it will attack tissues containing collagen types 1, 3, and 4 again, that are found in tendons, ligaments, joints, and discs of the spine. So the immune system, because of the process of molecular mimicry, the immune system will think that this protein produced by Klebsiella is bad, and it will also think that tissues high in HLA-B27 are also bad because they have the same amino acid sequence. So the immune system cannot tell the difference between these cells containing HLA-B27 and the protein produced by the Klebsiella bacteria. Same thing over here, but with this protein produced by Klebsiella, the immune system will identify that, recognize it in the gut, again, go throughout the bloodstream and attack tissues that it thinks are bad as well. Again, collagen types 1, 3, and 4, because they have an identical amino acid sequence. That is the process of molecular mimicry. It's important to remember that the bacteria Klebsiella is not the only reason for this process. Other bacteria, viruses, toxins, 
and food particles can also lead to the process of molecular mimicry and chronic inflammation to areas of the body, again, where we feel the pain and stiffness and reduced mobility with AS. Uh, in the bottom of the heel, below the knee, the tendon below the kneecap, in the hips, the entire spine, in the shoulders, again, everywhere we feel the pain and inflammation with AS.